screenshot. I to get that. Okay. If you're at the replay, thanks for joining me. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> Lots of props back there, it's not helping. All right. Whoa, my tripod, stay there. Okay, everyone's coming in, I hope, soon. But of course, with my Twitter not working, people may not know I have gone live. So, I'm going to hang out for a second or two. So, if you're here for the first time, thank you. If you're on the replay, nice to be here. I need to get my glasses. Hang on a second. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if anybody sees it. All right. Well, that's an interesting profile. Yes. Okay, John. In and out. So, done, done. All right. This broadcast may go out with anybody watching live, which is fine, it'll be on the replay. So if you are here on the replay, thanks for watching, thanks for participating. Um, you may want to scan through that. I'm going to be talking about... I'll see, I'm going to be waiting for a little bit to see if you're joining the scope. So if you're watching the replay and you will skip forward, just go through until you see me hold up my website sign again. That way you know it's time to get onto the content. Okay, giving you a tip. Um, so, let's see if people come in here and we get this scope moving forward. Thanks for joining me. If you're here for the first time, awesome. Great to have you here. Hope you spread the word. Let's see who else is coming in. Um, this is my daily love scope. Today's day being Monday is Man Up Mondays. And I'll get to what today's topic about in a moment. Um, thanks for coming in. Please spread the word. And let's see. I'm waiting for certain people to join in who are the big um, cheerleaders for my scopes. And they'll be the ones sharing it, promoting it, putting it out there. So I'm waiting to see a few of them show up because they will become the major... Um, Sharing on followers. There you go. Thank you for that. You're one of them right there. Thank you, Miss Gemini. That's Monica. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, and of course, depending on who you're following, you, that's going to be an interesting question. Um, this topic is, is going to wake some people up and piss some people off probably too. So I don't want to jump right in until I have more people watching to get more value because that's kind of the way to do it. Um, so I'll get. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, I just forgot. So I climb over the camera to get some, some water. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for joining me. Welcome to my scope broadcast. It's just, um, I'm, I'm in Los Angeles, which basically today has been drying out from the rain, and it's very dry in the air too, so a bit of a dry throat, so I apologize. So let's get to the topic, shall we? Um, since you're joining the scope, and I'm not going to spend too much time waiting for my friends to drop, they'll get here when they get here. So I'm putting up this so people know who are on the replay. This is my site, barryselby.com, and people on the replay can scan to this point, and now we can get on with it. So hi, my name is Barry Selby, hence my website is barryselby.com. I am a number one best-selling author, coach, and speaker. My book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, is available on Amazon as well as on my website um, as an e-book, physical book, and Kindle. This topic... Um, I touched on last Wednesday in the big blow up scope, scope that happened. This one is for men to listen to, for women to be aware of. So if you are watching the scope live, awesome. If you're watching the replay, awesome too. Just come make the comments. So here's today's um, well, bombshell to drop it in the lap. Is she thinks, now I'll speak to the men, by the way, this is Man Up Monday. So my scopes, by the way, every day are thematic. So Monday's Man Up Monday, Wednesday's Woman Up Wednesday. Tuesday is True Love Tuesday. Um, right now, Thursday is Thankful Thursdays, and Friday is Free Flow Fridays. Saturday is Straight Talk Saturday. They all fit, you know? But today is Man Up Monday, and I'm presuming there's gonna be people coming in live who wanna participate because they said they're watching out for this, but this is also not my usual time, so they may not know I'm on. Compounded errors, but I'm trusting anyway. This is... Um, an interesting topic so let's see how it goes into it so man up monday and the title as i put it was let me just bring it up again she feels you disappear on her here's why um well first of all let's just say i've had a lot of women complain to me um, both as clients and friends about how their men sort of are very on track and with them for three months and then they disappear they vanish and they want to know why and i shared about this last week on my wednesday scope and um, this one is going to sound trite, but I'll explain what I mean as I get into this. So the reason why he disappears, or I should say appears to disappear, because, um, well, <laughs> to 
use the sign, the banner that George W. Bush had up on the battleship when he was declaring the Desert Storm was success, not Desert Storm, sorry, the other one, uh, mission, ac mission accomplished, that's what he feels. Let, let me break this down a bit so you understand. The difference between men and women. Women, you love the idea of a relationship that evolves and grows and continues. Men get into a relationship to accomplish a goal. We, as men, as masculine men especially, are goal-oriented. Target acquired, problem solved, goal achieved. That is how we function. So in relationships, when we are dating somebody, in courtship, men are out attracting her, there's a milestone we have subconsciously perhaps, or even consciously established as when we get there, we're done. As in successful, not done as we're leaving, but done as successful. And that milestone, that goal, as it were, is something achievable, something we set up. It may be we get to the first kiss, or we get to take you to bed, or we celebrate three months together with you. It's any one of those things that set up as goals. Hi, Janet, nice to have you here. Thanks for coming in. If you're here, I'm not sure if you have someone to follow me before, but here for the first time, please uh, make sure you follow me and share with your friends on Twitter and Periscope too, because um, a lot of my friends haven't seen my posts because the Twitter link on my face, my Periscope is not working. So I'm doing Periscopes flying blind. Anyway, so to recap slightly, just so you can catch up where we are. I talk about how men, apparently according to women, disappear on them. Um, and I'm explaining why. So for your understanding, and if I say it again, I've said it again, men generally are um, goal oriented. Single focus, we have to get somewhere, achieve the goal, we're done. And relationship is no different. Romance is no different ultimately. Even though it's a romantic experience, we still, as men, are looking for goal points along the way to achieve results. And that is the, um, the way we play, the way we function. So for women, after usually it's around a two or three month time frame, they wonder why he's disappeared. It's because he's stopped going for the goal because he achieved it. Now, before you run out on panic and get nervous and, and, and worry about yourselves, here's some keys or some points about it. First of all, if you're wise enough as a man to know this, then you'll also be aware of the fact that when you do that, you'll, and, and the way, actually this talks about business too, the way to set up effective goals is to start a new goal before you finish the old one. This is a business tip, but it works in relationship as weird as it sounds. <clears throat> so for example, if a man has a goal set up to take a woman out five times and then see where it goes, that might be his goal. At the fourth date, have a different goal in mind if you think it's gonna go a certain direction saying, my next goal is gonna be three months of exploring a relationship, or whatever that is. And you decide yourself, I mean, it's not something that is black and white you do with step one, two, three, but it's the, the, my, the idea of this that makes sense. For women, be aware that if you're a man who has done that with you, which is most likely he has, encourage him to establish a new goal, whether that's by flirting or by invitation or by blatant telling him. It's like, honey, I suspect you had a milestone in mind or a place in mind when you get to a relationship with me and now you've achieved it, what's next? And ask him what goal he'd like to establish. What would he like to have as the next thing to achieve with you? Because by doing that, by doing that, you'll motivate him towards the next goal, the next step. And that's the thing is for us as men, we have milestones we achieve as goalposts along the journey. So thank you for the hut, by the way. <clears throat> and please make sure you share on Periscope and Twitter because my friends who you normally watch are missing in action, mainly because my scope was about five hours late. <laughs> C'est la vie. So, this is a piece that's vital to know for men and women, particularly if you're dating somebody new and you're exploring a relationship together. Because if you don't understand the differences between the way men and women work, the way men and women work, you're doomed to fail. Seriously, you're, you, you're out of the loop, you're gonna lose out. Not the ideal way to work. So this is a um, key piece of the puzzle. And having the understanding that when a man has established that goal and achieved it, he's not gone away he just simply doesn't have clarity of what his next goal is and for a relationship to explore and to um, progress having next steps having goals having um, what's what looking for a fresh level a new level to get to a new piece to get to that is vital 
for the health and the well-being and the journey of the relationship. So that's kind of what, that's the, the distillation of the truth into a simple way. Um, and there's not been many people who've been on live on the scopes. This is going to be mostly for the replay viewers. But if you are live now, thank you for joining me. Um, I will reiterate, if you want me to, the points I was making so you can have them because the scope's been going for about 10, 15 minutes with nobody in the room. But I'm doing the scope anyway for the replay viewers and for you who are on now. Um, this is something that, um, that I'm passionate about. Um, no, actually, Michelle, nice to be here, by the way. This is actually for women, too. <clears throat> so let me put in context for you since you're here and you're one of the people who I've been talking to more online and offline, so this is not like a first-time viewer. <clears throat> the way I explained it was that why she thinks, why women think men disappear, because men tend to set up relationship um, stages as goals. Well, thank you. I'm glad you do. Um, we set up relationship um, progression as goals. And so what happens is if we have a 90 day goal <clears throat> in dating you, that is to get to a certain point, whether that is a milestone or an experience or just time, when we achieve that, it's like, okay, mission accomplished, goal done, relax now. And so what you as a woman would feel that he's disappeared. And the truth is he hasn't disappeared, but he's just um, turned off that goal, motivation, focus, energy. Um, thank you for inviting followers. Yes, I appreciate that. And that's, that's, the, that's the nuance of this or a subtlety of this is because what happens is a man's gung-ho, he's on a mission, he's like, I'm going for this goal, this is the goal I want. Three months later when he's got to that goal, he's stopped pushing the energy towards that goal. It looks like he's disappeared. Energetically, he hasn't, but he doesn't have a next step. And so what I was speaking to as solutions, which I'll get to again in a moment, helps with that. But the, the challenge is the difference in understanding. Because men and women in a relationship function differently. We are very different anyway. But in relationship, how we relate to each other is different. Women in relationship are, and I speak more of this on Wednesday, but it's really about women in it for the, the unfoldment, the experience, and the journey of the relationship. Men are in it for, I don't mean crass speaking, I'm talking about how energetically we work. In relationship, we're in for goals and assignments. It could be to get married. It could be to um, have a family. So there could be big goals, but this is the piece that I want to make sure that you understand, is that because men, are different, men, are, men and women are different, we misunderstand each other's motives. Even though the truth may be we're both in it for love, but how we get this different. Because we as men do it incrementally in steps to achieve a goal point, which could be a percentage of love, or a time meant spent in love, or a certain physical goal together, which may be moving in together, whatever those things are. But women don't have the same um, relationship framework which makes that experience for women that men disappear happen. So, um, and thanks for, and thank you for the hearts and thanks for being here because I'm glad some folks are staying in. This, this was a very, um, <laughs> this was a very slow scope at the beginning because my notifications aren't working properly so people don't know I'm on the scope. So this is gonna be more for the replay viewers, but I'm glad you're here live so you can get this piece as well. How do you get around this problem, quote problem, or this, this difference for women if you have a man that is in function this way, which most men are, that we're goal oriented, then the subtlety of this is to keep, make sure he has new goals in mind, new places to get to, new levels, new experiences, because um, why do some girls bail and face a commitment? I'll get to that one in a second. You're, you're jumping ahead there, Michelle, but I'll get to that in a second. For men who are in a relationship, it's important that you keep establishing new goals. Before you finish the last one, have the next one ready to go, whatever that is. The first one is to get to two months of dating. The next one's gonna to be to maybe move in together or to have a certain trip together. Whatever that is for you that's a goal that is incremental, is good to have. Okay, I think that gives you two things to work for men and women. So why are men bail when we get to commitment? Um, different reasons, Michelle, to be honest. One of which I would strongly suspect is it wasn't on the goal list. I guess this is, sounds so crass, but again, men are built so that we are goal achievers. We like to go from to go for the this goal, then the next goal, then the next goal, then the next goal. And for example, and I'm and I mean this is what feels right, or maybe inaccurate, but it feels right in this. When a woman brings up commitment, which is for us is the fifth goal, and we're on the third goal, it freaks us out because we're not there yet. So it's a timing thing in a way, which is a pain in the butt for you, I understand. Because you've gone in the because you go in the more of the flow and the emotional journey. So you get to commitment at wherever it fits for you, which might be after two years or it might be after two weeks depending on where you are in that flow 
and it's never the same. It's not predictable that way usually. But for men, we have stages upon our journey of what we want to accomplish goal after goal after goal after goal. And commitment may be the fifth or sixth goal, whereas sex might be at number four. And you know, family could be at 12. So having, and it's not saying we have that as consciously as a list, we don't make up like, we don't do a, a spreadsheet and make plans of this, but we have this innate goal achieving methodology. That's who we are as men. That's what we do, that's what we present, that's how we, um, <laughs> that's how we live. Is the, is the masculine mind the way of being, which is sounds so, you know, mental and critical, but it's really how we function. And that is the challenge between men and women relationship of how we understand each other, because we do things differently on so many levels. This is one piece of that. So I hope that helps with your, uh, Michelle, with your question, because it is, a, it is such a frustration, I understand, but it is also the difference. So here's the thing. It's almost important to find out, which you can do by subtlety or by blatant ways, find out what the, what the man's goal is. As much as that sounds weird, but if you know what his vision is for the goal, you know where he's gonna to get to before he achieves it. Hang on, I'm trying to sneeze here. <coughs> Such fun, excuse me about that. Ian, nice to have you, sir. I haven't seen you from my scope for a while. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> Hang on one second. <coughs> yes, folks? This is a live broadcast. <laughs> All right, getting back onto track. Nice to have you here. And uh, yeah, this is this is an interesting scope. We've already covered this, but I'm moving to another topic. So, um, Michelle's Michelle's question. I think I was answering that question. Let me just make, make sure I because I sneeze blew my that thought out of my head. It happens. Is having a sense of where the guy is. A lot of your girls that have friends face that have friends that face that problem. Yes, it is. It is something that is. Uh, hey, nice to be here, sir. Um, that is one of those things. Is again because women are in relationship are in a flow and a dance of energy. So when they feel something lined up, they'll talk about it. We as men don't function that way usually. We do it more as a goal. It's like building a house brick by brick by brick. So we get to our different levels of milestones or goals as time goes by. So if you bring up commitment. As I said, like you, you get to the place where energy we feel like you want a commitment in a relationship, or you say I love you in a relationship. Well, for men, we tend to have those as certain goals along the path. And if say we're only we're at goal two, and saying I love you is at goal four, or we are saying that you know commitment happens as a goal five, and we're at goal three in our sequence, you're going to freak us out when you come in with that because we're not there, we're not ready for it yet. And so for us in our masculine, that tends to be how we build our um, our relationships. Now, we're not all the same, so I'm not saying this is guaranteed for everybody. Um, how big is too big to be gay? I don't know what that question is, that's strange. Um, Steve, I'm not sure if you, that question fits this, this conversation, but um, if you can qualify what you're asking for, I can maybe answer it. So for men, again, we, we are generally built to set up goals in our lives, in all areas of life, and relationships no different. So for us, it's a, a learning to the nuance and the subtlety of romance, which is much more fluid than goals are. So for women, which is natural for that, you can teach us some of this stuff. But if you, and do you understand the differences? You can actually attract and clarify. Um, does it make you, I don't know what you mean by that, Steve. So does, does being big make you gay? I don't understand what you mean, if that's what you're asking. Because that's not a question I can really answer very easily. Sorry about that. Um, so. Oh, like telling a guy they have to make a commitment almost. Yeah, see, the thing is, Michelle, where you are perhaps in the journey and experiences where you get to a point where you feel commitment's ready for you because you feel it. But for him, because he's going through these incremental goals, he may not be ready for it yet. And it's almost like you want to find out what his goal is. That's the thing I missed. Sorry, when I sneezed. You make your interest maybe to find out what goal he's on. Like what, what, what step of this like Monopoly board is he on to this point? What step, what, you know, what, what place is he on along the journey? Because commitment can be at this end and he's only here. So that might be to um, to say certain things or do other certain things, whatever those things are, to go on a trip together or to introduce you to his parents or to kiss you or to have sex. Like all these things can be goals and can be steps along the way. So that's kind of the challenge of this. That's one reason why men and women have challenges in relationships because we do things differently. We think things differently. Um, and I speak to the feminine more on Wednesday because that is woman up Wednesday. But I want to just plant this seed here because it is about Man Up Monday. 
And this came up in last Wednesday's scope, which was the biggest scope I'd done for a while. Biggest audience, biggest number of comments, and the longest scope, it went 55 minutes. So this one is um, a segment of that, but it's important to realize. So um, hope that helps. And I see some people still here, some people, okay. So that's really the, 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 end, that's the point of this scope. <laughs> that was kind of the comment I was trying to make. This has been the replay lock view for a lot of people and a lot of people who were going to watch this missed it because I did it later than usual. Timing. Planning to do it at uh, around noon or 1 p.m. Pacific time, but I ended up doing it at uh, 5.30 Pacific time. So some people aren't watching at this time of night. So I hope it's up to you. Michelle, um, I emailed you back, so double check your email if you haven't emailed me back because I did email you. So um, that's in your, in your inbox. And anybody else who any questions, feel free to reach me. You can go to my website, which is barrysilvey.com. There is a um, the first link on there is Let's Chat, which is a free discovery session. Also, if you get a chance to, let me put it like this. Guys, are getting easy to figure out. I'm glad I could help you. You're welcome, Michelle. And I want to help you too. So, yes. Um, all my archives are here, which is catch.me slash Barry Selby. And in fact, if you go, scroll through to Warming Up Wednesday, which is the one from last week, that scope was had about 10 different things we covered. It was a pretty deep scope. Um, that one is probably about four or five down in the list if you go to catch.me catch slash Barry Selby. All right? So again, if you want to find out more about my work and want to sit down and talk, I do offer a free 30-minute conversation, barryselby.com slash consult. That's available to talk um, about what you want and what you're trying to attract in love. And again, I am... Um, thank you, Michelle. And I'll talk, uh, check it out and then get back to me, please. Um, this is my book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, which is a number one bestseller on Amazon. Uh, physical, Kindle, and digital ebook on my website. Okay, so that's it. I think I'm. Um, things about done. If you're catching now, please go back and watch the. Please go back and watch the replay. And the replay view, play viewers, thanks for staying with me. I did start slow because I was waiting for people to show up, but I really want to get the scope recorded because there's content for everybody out there. All right. So thanks for watching. I'll be back again tomorrow. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Thank you, Michelle. I uh, appreciate it, and thanks for reaching out. I am. I am definitely here to support you. Um, yeah, tomorrow will be True Love Tuesday, which will be fun. And I've got something lined up for that, and I think it was lined up for Wednesday as well. So it's good, good stuff to talk about. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you're following me on Periscope and share with your friends and followers the replay or the live one. And I will see you again probably tomorrow. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.